I'm Alex Cheprev and welcome to Crashing Maya. Hey guys, uh, in this video I want to cover a question that's asked uh, a lot and that's how to fill a hole. So um, the problem is uh, this is something really simple but let's say you need to fill this in. How would you fill this in? I mean the easy solution uh, you know is to select to fill the hole and then poke face and it should be here like that but it leaves triangles so how do you fill the hole making quads well before I show you how to do that I want to explain something so let's say you have a plane like this or any kind of geometry that looks like this and you want to fill this hole well the easiest thing to do that you can see is that you can take a plane scale it into place and ramp up your divisions to match your geometry. There, right? And then you can just uh, combine, merge vertices, all that good stuff. Now, what if uh, the hole is not square? And I went and made this. It's the same geometry, uh, but now how would you fill this hole? Uh, it's round, um, but it actually is the same hole that we saw previously. So, uh, knowing that you can, uh, that if you treat every hole as a square like this, uh, and you can fill it the same way you would a square, uh, there's a way to do it. And I'll quickly show you. So, um, there is something in uh, Maya called a boundary function using uh, curves. So, if I have curve here let's actually make it a little more complicated like that and I have an, the same exact curve the same exact number of uh, edit points curve on this side opposite then I have another one I'm gonna hold C and click and drag and this one I'll make um, give it a different number of uh, edit points so this one we created one two three four this one I'll do five one two three four and then the last one hold C and drag like that and then the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, and then shift C. I mean C and then drag, like that. Uh, so if I select all four curves and go to uh, hold spacebar, go to uh, surfaces and select boundary, it makes geometry. So you can see uh, what it made for us. It just makes quads, uh, a quadded surface based on uh, our curves. Now, uh, the way I did it, I went straight to polygons. If you actually open up the boundary options and we'll reset them, uh, by default it goes to NURBS. So if I click apply, you just get a NURBS object. But you can also go directly to polygons. So you just click polygons, set the type to quads, set tessellation method to general, and set the U type to per span number of isoparms and the u number to 1 and the v type to per number of isoparms on the v num uh, number of v to 1. The, what this means is that uh, when we make a NURBS object it has isoparms where edit points are. So wherever you see an edit point on a curve on a NURBS uh, surface there's an uh, isoparm. So by setting the u type to isoparms it means that we're dividing our polygon object based on where the NURBS objects isoparms are and setting number one means it'll be one division based on the isoparms. If you set two it'll be two. So clicking it like this you'll see one. If we set it to two you'll see more it'll basically just double the number of uh, polygons in those uh, in that direction. So using this we can fill a hole that uh, is square but also something that is round. So if I go in and set this like that. Uh, so this is what it, when you first come across a hole like this what you want to do is you want to go to first to display heads up display and make sure poly count is on. Uh, you want to see this information in your viewport. When you're modeling you should see this anyway. You should always have it on. I'm going to double click this edge on the hole and I want to look at the number of edges and I have 32. You want to have an even number of edges. If you don't have an even number of edges, if it's odd, this won't work. So what do you do if you do have an odd number of edges? You delete one. You either delete an edge or you add an edge to make it even. 
So you'll have to figure that out on your own. Um, but once you get this, all you have to do is figure out, uh, like we did with the curves, we need two parallel uh, sets of edges uh, in, in each direction. Um, that can be uh, that you can figure out from uh, the surface so if we start from uh, if I look at this surface you can see there's a corner right there and right there so if we do this we can select this edge but it doesn't have to be that it could be any opposite uh, uh, any two opposite uh, edge loops so if I select this uh, this edge loop and this edge loop uh, what you should have remaining is that this edge loop on the right and this one on the left have the same number of edges. If you're not sure, you're going to have to count. You can also use uh, guides for yourself. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll make a, a use the curve tool and make a guide. So I'll say, okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can do that. And I'll try and figure out where the next, uh, where the other 11 is. And then I'll count I'll count these to make sure these are the same uh, so this is six on this side and six on this side so that that's gonna work and you can leave the guys if you want but I'll, sh I'll quickly show you how to do this um, so I'm gonna select this edge to this one oops there I'm gonna hold spacebar go to modify convert poly edge to curve default settings are fine like that so what it'll do is it'll create a curve based on those edges I'm gonna go on this side and do the same to the opposite and you can press G this time because we used convert poly edge to curve so Maya remembers that and if I press G it'll redo it and I'll do it on this side too and this side too I can go on my outliner, select the four curves, hold spacebar, surfaces, boundary, and I've, we'll, we already set our uh, boundary settings so that it goes straight to polygons. When I click boundary, boom. And that's it. Uh, if we hide these curves, you can see it's pretty seamless. We can select both uh, surfaces, uh, combine them, merge, and then when you know, press three, it's nice and clean now something like this uh, it's the same principle so first uh, we need to check to see if it's even this is 20 that means it'll be 5 and 4 uh, on each uh, 5 up and down and 4 left and right I'm guessing so I'm going to use a, uh, a curve as a guide I'm going to try and find it so like that. All right, that looks good. All right, so that means if we go from here to here, we can uh, modify convert poly edge to curve. that select the four curves and surfaces boundary there so if it looks black like this it just means it's flipped uh, it's normals are flipped it's not a big deal we'll go to polygons combine merge and then go into uh, normals and click conform and if the whole thing is black just then go to normals again and click reverse and then it's fine There it is. It's all quads. It's filled. Looks great. Now you can do it to m a lot more complicated uh, surfaces. Um, I'm going to delete this. And then let's say that our surface is actually a little more complicated than just a, a simple cylinder that and let's uh, subdivide it all right so I'm going to double click the edge loop and I'll see it's 40 so that means I can do 10 10 and 10 that will be perfect uh, so now I need to find 
10 edges so if I click that to that that's 12 so if I delete that that'll give me 10 so I can go ahead and convert so I'll do uh, modify convert poly edge to curve now sometimes if you this uh, you, re you can realize that as you're doing this you're starting the wrong place maybe this curve should be here or there so you'll have to if you don't get on the first try just start over and uh, redo it now some the other thing is it it's hard to see where I ended this curve so what you can do is you can select this curve hold the spacebar go to display nerves and edit points this will let you this will show the edit points on a curve so you see they stand out so I can see that this there's no edit point here but there's one there so this curve ended right there so it means that you can start your next edge from here and it's easy to see uh, where the previous one ended so I got nine here like that modify convert poly edge to curve and I'm going to go to display at a point so I, I can see where I started 10 perfect poly edge to curve Oops. Okay, so now I can't see where I ended. From there to there. Double check, that's still 10. Good. Modify, convert, poly edge to curve. Select the four curves. And then surfaces, boundary. See, it doesn't matter the shape, it'll still fill and make it look really good. Now, the other thing that I like to do when I finish this is uh, first um, I'll combine and merge but you can see that these faces are a little stretched so I like to kind of clean this up a little bit so I'm going to average this out I'm going to select uh, I usually have an extra curve here just like this to kind of keep the shape on the, of the outside uh, of my outside loops so that I can select the interior vertices like this then go into mesh average set it to one so it's uh, smaller iterations and then click apply and you can click apply a few times until it's nice and smooth and you can see the edge flow is much nicer now and we filled that shape all right uh, if you guys have any questions uh, post them in uh, in the comments and uh, subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.